Hello guys, in this video I've got a little treat for all of you Blackmagic camera users. If you're somebody like me who shoots a lot on the, the various Blackmagic cameras like the Blackmagic Ursa Mini uh, Pro or maybe the Ursa Mini 4.6K or the new Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K camera, then I've got a treat for you because uh, I know you probably had the same problem I, I used to have. Uh, when I came to editing all that footage and matching all the different cameras to, so that they, they look identical. Uh, if you've actually been following me over the years, then you know that uh, when the first Ursa Mini camera came out, I, I came up with my own custom LUT that kind of converts the Blackmagic film log image into kind of a more pleasing looking video, uh, kind of with the right contrast and the colors but uh, without washing out all the highlights and the, and the details and the shadows. Uh, so now I actually upgraded that LUT so the, the footage looks even better, but on top of that, um, so that all the other Blackmagic cameras uh, are actually matching it uh, perfectly. Uh, so here as an example is a shot of me in my studio. Uh, this is on the Blackmagic uh, Ursa Mini Pro camera. This is how it looks you know, when it's raw, and this is how it looks when you apply the film LUT. And uh, this is how it looks when you just apply the standard black magic LUT, which I definitely don't like. I think it just, you know, a lot of the information, especially the highlights and the shadows is gone. Now here's another shot I got with the exact same settings, but this is on the black magic Ursa Mini 4.6K camera. So the previous version, this is how it looks in the film log. And here's uh, how it looks when I apply my custom LUT. Uh, as you'll notice, it matches perfectly the Ursa Mini Pro. And here is one more shot I got on the Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K camera. Uh, again, the same settings. And when I apply my custom LUT for this camera, again, this is how it looks now. And here, just so you can kind of compare it to the Ursa Mini Pro, uh, or again to the Ursa Mini 4.6K, as you can see, it matches pretty well. Now, you'll probably notice that in the Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K camera, the highlights are just a tiny bit basically different. I mean, I matched it as much as I could, but obviously, you know, the Ursa Mini cameras have uh, you know, 15 stops of dynamic range and they, they handle the highlights slightly better than the, uh, the Packet 4K camera. Uh, but the Packet 4K is fairly close. It's just like I said, it just doesn't have as much highlight information. So because of that, it's never gonna look identical, especially in those highlights. But it, as you notice, the footage will cut perfectly between these different cameras. And here's another kind of set of test shots I got with these three different cameras, but outside. And here's uh, the Packet Cinema 4K camera in log. And here's how it looks with my custom LUT. And here's the Ursa Mini Pro in log. And again, here's how it looks with the LUT applied. And finally here is the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K uh, with log and now with my LUT applied. And now I'm just going to kind of cut between the three different cameras so you can see how well they match. So if you guys want to try out my custom LUTs uh, to, to match different cameras then uh, head on over to my website and all you got to do is subscribe to my newsletter so you're notified when I release them. Uh, and you'll get a download link uh, later on in the week. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, then you can just head on over to my website and uh, in the download section, you'll be able to find the, these three custom LUTs. Uh, but if you again want to be notified about some of the other cool things that I do uh, and these free downloads and stuff like that, then uh, again, subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, anyways, uh, my name is Tom Antos and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.